Hey guys, Ultimate Deadpool here. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, um, I did see uh, Halloween Kills. Uh, it wasn't a bad movie by any sense, by any extent of the word. It, for me personally, it was not a bad movie. It was not what I expected. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to kind of do what Tyrone Magnus does a little bit. We're going to do review in the front, spoilers later. So um, the casting was really good. Um, the kills were phenomenal. Uh, the ones that you see, they are really good. Um, the special effects for all of them were good. Um, there was a few scenes I was like, okay, that was... Not quite what I thought it was going, but it's like, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, the the ending is um, a shocker, uh, to say the least. Uh, and it also does set up uh, yet another Halloween movie. Uh, it was already confirmed when Halloween 2018 came out called Halloween Ends. So I'm thinking this next one is going to be the actual last one. So, or at least the last one until they decide to reboot it again. So, I mean, I would give this movie about, out of five, I would give it about maybe a three. Three and a half. And the reason I say that is because the overall movie felt slower. Which is fine, because I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to build... The, the whole point of this movie was to build up the big finale for the last Halloween movie. That's what they were trying to do. And to a point, they did that perfectly. The only thing I didn't really care for about it was just a, a few minor characters that were literally brought back just to die, essentially. And it's like, you know, don't don't bring back these characters if you're not going to do anything else with them. I mean, yeah, that's great fan service for people who know what it is and know, you know, who they are. But it, it means nothing afterwards because you just, okay, well, they're dead. <laughs> so, the unfortunately, though, I will say this, the trailer does reveal too much. And that that's I'm not gonna say anything else about that until we get to the spoilers. But the trailer does show too much. Um you know, other than that, I mean James Jude Courtney did a phenomenal job as Michael Myers, just like he did in twenty eighteen. Jamie Lee Curtis did a really good job. Um all the other actors and actresses uh that were uh, prior in this movie they did a really good job. Um, there and there, there are a lot of really good moments in the movie that make you feel um, kind of disheartened, almost. Uh, sorry about that, uh, but it, it makes you feel disheartened because there's there's a few, there, and we'll get to this in the spoilers. There's one scene that just made me be like, "That's that's not right," but you know. I mean, other than that, I mean, it, it, I can't. It, it's hard to describe this movie as a review without spoiling anything until we get to the spoilers. So, all in all, I, this movie wasn't bad. I, I I had a good time watching it. There were tons of callbacks to older Michael Myers movies as well as other, uh, you know, small little Easter eggs here and there from everything else, just like Halloween 2018. So that's a really nice little callback. Um, as of, obviously by the trailer, Halloween Kills takes place immediately after Halloween 2018. And in fact, the first few minutes of the movie, after the opening credits, um, uh, takes place during Halloween 2018. Uh, and then later on it starts off like right where it left off. And, uh, it's just, it's, it, it was, it was a fun movie. Um, it wasn't a good movie, it wasn't a bad movie, it was a fun movie. So, if you like Halloween movies, or if you like, you know, Michael Myers, or if you, if you like seeing people die, <laughs> this is the movie for you. If you want to see a really good movie that has a really good story, this is definitely not the movie for you, because the story 
isn't bad. It's just I think it could have gone in a better direction. And like I said, we'll get to that when we get to the spoilers. But overall, you know, the mask design was really cool. The like I said, the special effects were really good. The storytelling wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Like I do like Halloween 2018 better than Halloween Kills. But I do have to say that Halloween Kills did meet up meet part of my expectations and gave me a phenomenal uh, not not a phenomenal story, but it gave me a, a story I was expecting. Because I, as soon as I found out that it was going to take place, like, immediately after, I'm like, okay, this is what they're going to do. They're going to have everybody recuperate after that, you know, shit that happened on Halloween 2018. And they're going to have all of them recover from that. And then they're going to, on, on Halloween ends, they're going to actually straight up do what they need to do. So, that is my review for this movie is it's just it's it's a fun movie it's it's not a bad movie by any sense of the word because it really was entertaining and it really it had me on the edge of my seats uh, on the edge of my seat uh in a couple of scenes but there were some scenes that it's like why just why why did you do this so now we get into the spoilers so if you have not seen halloween kills and you do not want to have the movie spoiled end this video right now and then come back uh, whenever you're ready. Or if you just don't care, then by all means, stay. So, you have been warned. Spoilers are ahead. So, the beginning of the movie is not what you expect. Um, it starts off um, basically as a flashback. Uh, it starts off in 1978, right around the time when Officer Hawkins captures, or, you know, saves Michael Myers from getting killed um, and you know they send him back to I guess you could say a mental hospital for the next 40 years and uh, the the opening the, the, the opening was not bad but it was also very weird because in Halloween 2018 I thought Hawkins was dead and he's not He's perfectly fine. He's alive. He's well. He, and, well, he's not alive and well, but he's still injured. Uh, and just like Jamie Lee Curtis in this movie, they were both bed bound, and it sucked because I, when I saw that he was alive, I'm like, okay, this guy's gonna get up. He's gonna beat the shit out of Michael Myers, and Jamie Lee Curtis and them are gonna kill him, kill him together. And it's like that that, that didn't happen. That both Jamie Lee Curtis and Kurt Hawkins or, or Andrew Hawkins uh shit I can, Officer Haw I'm just going to start calling him Officer Hawkins because I don't remember what his first name was I think it was I don't remember what the hell it was called or what his name was but uh they, they, they were both bed bound it, it was basically Halloween 2 that, that's if, if you want to sum up Halloween Kills essentially it was Halloween 2 because it, it was basically the whole town of Haddonfield is recovering from what happened a few hours in movie time a few hours ago and while it wasn't bad it was like, like I said you know and then um, the, Dr. Loomis does make a couple of appearances um, obviously Donald Pleasance couldn't uh, do it because uh, he's been dead for quite a while so they had to do they had to CGI him uh, and digitally do his voice but they did a really good job making him look real um, for the flashback scenes. Um, Michael's mask in the flashback scenes looked really, really good. I think it was actually the original mask that they used uh, from 1978. So that was fun. Um, the kills, like I said, they were really good. Uh, there was one kill in particular that I didn't care for. Because for me, it just, it was horrible. Because the, uh, in Halloween 2018, obviously, you know, Dr. Sartain, you know, he messes up the whole bus and sets all the inmates free. Well, one of those inmates gets, you know, gets into a car and he gets into an accident and he goes to a hospital trying to get some help. He's just simply trying to get help. And... This, like, lynch mob of people 
think it's Michael Myers because he's wearing a Haddonfield Insane Asylum attire. And, like, Jamie Lee Curtis's family and all of them, like, some, the main characters are saying, that's not him, that's not him. And this poor freaking inmate is just running throughout this entire hospital, bleeding from his head because of the car accident. And finally, Jamie Lee Curtis's, I think it's granddaughter, locks the helps the guy get locked into a confined space so he's safe. And then these frick, this freaking lynch mob just starts breaking down the breaking the glass. So the poor inmate takes the fire hydrant, the fire extinguisher. And busts the window and would rather jump to his death because everyone thought it was my he was Michael Myers. And I, I when I saw that scene, I'm like, that's that's not right. You know, I mean, I get what they were doing. It was supposed to be an emotional scene because it, of how how it made everybody else the, the mob feel when they found out, hey, this is not the real guy. We just made some guy commit suicide. Because we thought it was somebody else. And, like, literally the entire freaking town of Haddonfield just felt horrible after that scene. But, um... You know, and then, um... Some of the other kills were... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they were weird. But there was definitely one particular one. Um... That was overkill. And, <laughs> and then some... Uh, Michael, like, slashes some guy's throat. He's, like, a little old man. He, like, cuts his throat open, and he's like, has him on a table. He, like, pins him with, like, every freaking knife that this poor family had. He, like, just pins him to the table with it. He's like, he's like oh, well, that knife is used. Oh, well, shit, now I need to get another one. And just continuously started stabbing the guy with, like, all of their freaking silverware that they had uh, on the shelf. And then, uh, um, there were two characters that I didn't feel comfortable with. They were, some, it was a politically correct movie to a point. Um, so they do have token minorities like, you know, gays and, you know, cross genders and stuff like that, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with any of that. There's no, I don't have a problem with any of that. But the, the characters that lived in Michael's old, you know, childhood house, um, Made me personally feel uncomfortable because of how ridiculous they were. Um, and then when they both die, like, it's just brutal. Like, what, the main guy that you see get killed, the main uh, character that lived in that house you see get killed, uh, was brutal. Be, uh, via, you know, eyeballs being popped out of your freaking head and your skull crushed in. And then the other guy dies off screen, and then you find out later that he just got stabbed twice. So, and probably choked to death as well. So, like I said, overall the kills weren't bad. Um, they were very, they were very graphic. The ones that you do see. Um, now, for the big spoiler, the ending. Um. Like I said earlier, in twenty eight and Halloween twenty eighteen, Jamie Lee Curtis has a. Uh, daughter and a granddaughter. Well, the granddaughter and daughter, since Jamie Lee Curtis is bedbound for this movie, um, they went to go basically with the mob to trap Michael Myers and have the mob just completely beat the crap out of him to kill him. And that particular scene was odd to watch because, like, when you picture Michael Myers, you picture a powerhouse. And they had him beaten to the ground, practically dead, I'm sure. And that they, like, stabbed him with pitchforks. They beat him with baseball bats. They beat him with 4 by 4s They shot him a shit ton of times. And then Jamie Lee Curtis's um, daughter, like, stabs Michael in the back. And then, like, you think that that's, that's the end of Michael Myers. And my, my father, when we were watching that movie, he thought the same thing. He's like, okay, well, Michael Myers is dead. And then, like, all of a sudden, something, like, Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter walks away to go check on her daughter. And then Michael just gets back up and just starts instantly killing, like, this entire mob of people. And 
I'm sure there were a lot more kills that you don't see because it kept flashing back between the between Michael killing and Michael or er, and um, Allison's mom being with her, and then uh, like as soon as he's done with the mob, like you, they don't really show much of anything else. But then like he goes across the street where Allison's mom is at the house, and then kills her. I'm like. What? Like, that... I actually liked that character from the first movie. Because she was a very compassionate mother. She was a very good person. And then, flat out, she just ended up being such a badass. But then, like, you, in this movie, she's more of a... She's more of a side character. She's not as big of a role as she was in 2018. And that's the case for all of the characters that were in the original so, I mean, uh, the fact that they do kill her off, I know why they did that. They did that probably to have Jamie Lee Curtis's character get an even bigger incentive to kill Michael Myers in the next movie. But it's like, come on. Like, she was, that, that character was just so, it was such a good character, such a well-written character. It does suck to see her go, but I'm pretty sure she's either A, surprisingly not dead like Hawkins was, or, Jamie Lee Curtis is going to find out that, hey, Michael killed your daughter. And Jamie Lee Curtis is going to be like, oh, that mother... And then just start beating the shit out of Michael. And they're going to have this awesome throwdown that is basically going to be who's the last one standing and go from there. So, like I said, I would give this movie about maybe a 3.5. A 3.5 out of 5. Because the acting was great, the storyline, you know, was slower, but I, they did that on purpose so that way it builds up to the next movie. Um, the overall, you know, special effects, the CGI, all of that was really good. Um, there were a couple of moments when you see Loomis that his eyes are a little bit brighter than normal person. <laughs> But other than that, I mean, his the CGI that was used to recreate Donald Pleasance was just phenomenal. Um, it was very believable, but at the same time, it also did look a little ridiculous. Um, uh, Michael's mask design was really good. The overall, uh, Marion Chambers from the first two Halloween movies was back. Uh, she was also in Halloween H2O um, and dies. <laughs> and then uh, her character shows up for like literally a more of a cameo than anything else uh and then she's quickly killed off um a couple other uh, Lonnie you know he was there um a couple other characters were there and they just were there just to die like they brought back all of these characters just to die it's like why bring them back at all like I get it's good fan service but like why why would you bring up bring back all these characters just to have them die. Like, literally, like, just as soon as you meet them. And that's not an understatement. When you first meet, you know, Marion Chambers' actor, or character, like, not even 15 minutes later, she's dead. And it's like, what? And then, like, one of the other, uh, ch the, one of the children from the first movie, uh, the one with black hair. I can't remember her, her character's name or her actress's name. But she was there. I don't think... I don't remember if she actually died or not. But I'm pretty sure she did get severely injured. And then, like... It's like, okay, well, if she's not dead... Then she's going to be by the third one. Or by the next one. And then you've got the... Ah, uh, shit. I can't think of his name. But it was the, the child that Jamie Lee Curtis babysat in the first Halloween movie... Um. Uh, shit. I can't think of his name. I, I, Paul Rudd played the character in Curse of Michael Myers, but I can't. Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle was, um, in, the uh, the movie, and he was the one who basically started this big mob of like, oh, we're gonna kill Michael Myers, and you know, oh, we're gonna get the whole town of Haddonfield and screw the police, and we're gonna do all this, and we're just gonna beat the shit out of him and get him killed for good. And then the son of a bitch ends up getting killed. And I'm like, 
Why bring that character back? The only reason why they did was so that way they could get this big mob that was going to help kill Michael Myers, just so that way Michael Myers could kill the mob, and then kill Tommy Doyle. It's like, that's fun for... That's fun for, you know, like, uh, fan service and stuff like that. But it's like, why bring the character back? He only exists, he only is, really existed in this character, this movie, literally just to, well, not die, but he, ex he was there to successfully kill the wrong person who they thought was Michael Myers. And then basically just be like a leader character. And I'm like, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't bad, but if I had to change anything of this movie, it would definitely be the story. Because it focuses, it has three different points. You have Hawkins' storyline, you have Tommy Doyle's storyline, and then you have the Jamie Lee Curtis storyline. All three of those stories are meshed into this movie. And while they each have their own little healthy dose of stuff, Hawkins gets the most treatment. It ends up, it opens up with his memory. It op and it later flashes back like another two or three times with his memory. And then you have like a few scenes that have Tommy Doyle on his side of the story. But the main part is still Jamie Lee Curtis's storyline because it's obviously revolving around Laurie Strode. So it's just, it, they had three different stories that they tried to mesh into one movie, and while I under, I, again, I completely understand why they did this. They did it so that way it was it was more of a recovery movie for the Strodes. Because, you know, the whole phrase was, evil dies tonight. And to a point they were wrong. Or to a point they were right. Because they did try to kill Michael Myers, like I said earlier. But obviously that didn't end well for him. But, like, the, the main thing I had a problem with with this movie was the story. Because the story just was not there. Halloween 2018 had a really, really good story because it took place so many years, or, you know, it was, it was supposed to take place 40 years after the original. Which was great. The, the storyline was great. The plot twist was eh, but... The, 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 the storyline in Halloween Kills was just slow. And, I mean, it starts off slow, but then once you get to the burning house, and Michael slaughters the entire fire squad, then that's when it kind of starts to build up. But then, you go back to it being slow. And then you have this little quick, little hype, blah, blah, blah. quick little hype moment, and then it goes back to being slow. And it's, it basically, it's just a roller coaster. It had its ups, it had its downs. Between the two, I say it was more up than down, but not by much. So, I did have uh, high hopes for this movie. It wasn't a bad movie, like I said earlier, but it definitely was not a good movie either. So, all in all, I would say it was it was enjoyable. It was fun. It was watchable. I had a blast. If you guys want to, if you guys like Michael Myers, this is definitely a movie for you. If you do not like Michael Myers or don't like watching people get killed, don't watch this movie. <laughs> but um, all in all, I did have a good time watching it. So uh, if a movie can entertain me, and if it can, if a movie can both entertain me, make me want more, and make me laugh along the way, then it's a good movie. So all in all, Halloween Kills is not a bad movie. It's, it's it's not it's a really it's not a really good movie but it's a it's a good movie so so that is my almost 25 minute long review of Halloween Kills from 2021 so um, in movie it still takes place in 2018 but that's just because it's supposed to take place immediately after my guess is for this next one Halloween ends and I'll probably do a separate video on this later. What they're probably going to do is obviously that Lori is going to find out that her daughter is dead. And then she's going to become badass mo uh, grandma and just go ham on Michael Myers. And it's probably like the last 30 minutes of that movie is just going to be Michael and Lori beating the shit out of each other. So 
And then obviously they're probably going to end up having either Michael be surprised alive at the end just for shits and giggles, or they're actually going to kill Michael Myers. Because for those of you who don't may not know this, Michael Myers has never actually died in any Halloween movie. With the exception of the Rob Zombie movies. Which I can't stand those. But he doesn't die in any of the original movies. And to be fair though, in Halloween 2 he was originally supposed to die uh, from the hospital explosion. But because of Halloween 4, that was retconned. Because Halloween 3 Season of the Witch was a great movie, but it was also terrible at the same time because it had nothing to do with Michael Myers. So, all in all, it wasn't fun. It, was, it wasn't bad. So, and I know I've repeated myself quite a few times in this video, but this, this movie just left me confused. It, it made more questions than it had answers to. So... Um, I, I am excited to see Halloween, uh, ends, but at the same time, I'm not, because, like, I loved Halloween 2018, I always thought it was one of the best ones that they did, and I, I, like I said, I really had high hopes for Halloween Kills, but there was just something there that just, that didn't feel right, it, it, it should have been better, it could have been better, and it wasn't better, but... All in all, like I said again, it was fun. So I had a blast watching it. So you know what? The hell with what I think. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good movie. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this movie. If you guys into, if you did watch this movie, let me know. Uh, and let me know what you all thought of it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of you saying, Oh, it was so terrible. It was by far the worst freaking Halloween movie of them all. Or, oh, screw you. It was the best freaking Halloween movie ever. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of that. There's a ton of people have mixed feelings, and that's fine. Everyone's got their own opinion. No harm, no foul. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos Halloween-related uh, coming out very soon. And uh, I will catch you guys all next time. Peace out. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you guys all later. Bye.